Good morning, everyone. It's Brave Gal. We are playing some more Breath of Death 7. And we are headed across two rivers and into the swamps to the east. This is not the ruins that we were looking for. It is, however, a side cave, which means there's probably something good at the end of it. That is how this usually works. Uh, Skeletors? Oh, okay, that's an upgraded version of the enemy we fought earlier. And Crazy Fungi. This is actually... these enemies are actually pretty powerful. Like, hit point-wise, that's a lot more than we've dealt with before. Like, we're still burning through it, but I used... I actually had to use MP to kill them in two turns. Okay. Rally. All allies get plus 20... 25% defense, or shield aura. Allies always have 10% defense. Yes. Constant aura that I don't have to waste a turn in MP on. I don't care if it's a little bit less. Uh, I just don't want to have to deal with it. <laughs> um, okay, eighty one, forty. So with the damage from rain in the sky, should be good. Uh, if you are just joining, and are confused by what's going on... Oh, hey. Sturdy Ogres. That's... mildly terrifying, and the music is slightly different. Uh, let's boost her magic quick. Bash, bash. Dem is defeated. That's... bad. Huh. We've been defeated. Okay, then. Uh, so that tells me two important things. Um, one. We are not ready for that yet. Which is fine. Uh, and two, more importantly, you don't regain, or you don't retain progress don't retain progress when you die. So we literally went back to the last place we had saved, which makes sense. So we do have a possibility in situations like that to lose progress. This is, uh, those are the guys who just murdered the crap out of us, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> 
Okay. Um. Protect. Heal. And then I think I just healed them again. He's taunting enemies, so they sh are more likely to attack him. It's not a guarantee. And then I think we do a potion on Sarah. We haven't had to use a potion yet. Oh, that just happened. Well, okay. I don't think we're ready for that yet, and that's okay. I said that last time, and then that ended up being a random encounter as well. So yeah, now we know, and knowing is half the battle. Um, the fact that we are, that we know that we're going to be getting a new party member soon does make me think that maybe what we want to do is uh, go get that third character and that might be what we need to help mitigate that damage. Maybe there's a new ability that will help. Lita. Howdy, you're not here to steal all my money, are you? No, we're just... or stick a stake through my heart? No! Or chop off my head? Of course not. Just want to make sure you can never be too careful in a place like this. Um. My name's Lita, vampire inventor and scavenger of old technology extraordinaire. What brings you two to this old junk heap? I'm Sarah, and this is my bodyguard, Dem. Not a bodyguard, a hero. We're on a quest to discover the secrets for the, of the past by searching old ruins for ancient artifacts. Sounds like fun. Count me in. Yay! The more the merrier. Wait, we just met you. Besides, I work best alone. Dem said he's happy to have you on the team. Lita has forcefully joined your party. Uh, we now have the Unite Techniques Bone Storm and Relic. Sleep, drain life. So, I think these are all strict upgrades. Actually, I'm not sure exactly. I think hit plus one might be two attack, two hits per attack. Um, so that could be a balance, but for we're dealing with random encounters right now. So, in that case. Having something that hits everything is very good. Eighty percent chance of sleep damage, but it recovers HP. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, those are both really good. Extra hit on all of her physical attacks is okay. But I think we're going to go with mana regen and assume that she's going to need to do more of that as we go. Okay, these literally are the same. They're just different elements. That's cool. Uh, and I don't know which one we want. Uh, let's go zap. Sure. We've gotten comments about uh, her being uh, an inventor or a tinkerer, and we've also got comments about this being a junkyard. So I could definitely see Zap being good against some sort of uh, some sort of uh, what am I trying to say? Like robot enemies, if there are some machines. gold that we don't need. At least she's leveling up quickly. Um, we definitely want the strength boost on her right now. Um, the the fact that she is hitting all enemies is very powerful, and being able to do more damage is good, obviously. So she's up to 39, she was in the 20s before. That feels really good, and being able to hit all enemies with that is, again, very good. <laughs> it, it, this area is kind of annoying. It's hard to tell where we are. All three on that guy, okay. Fire rains from the sky. <laughs> it's really hard to tell what's background and what you can walk through in this area. Okay, so we can't walk through any of that. Neither of these are great. I guess we'll switch it up so we've got earth and electricity from her. Just in case it becomes relevant. I assume we can't go out that way, so it's probably down through here. enemies have been defeated. Okay. So down is blocked off. And up there is blocked off. I'm just going to start assuming that 
ghost car. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do Reign of Fire. Hey, I was right. Uh, the ghost car took more damage. I think the ghost car took more damage than it should have. I haven't really noticed anything commenting on elemental weaknesses so far. Okay. We get full hit points at the end of every one, so of every battle, so if we don't use MP, that's preferred. Wait, what? Oh, there's a whole nother screen. Okay. It's actually a really really simple but really cool effect as it transitioned to the next map. Like, I realize it's not a big deal, but it's really cool. Uh, Lita seems very slow. Okay. Uh, we're going to stick with the passive auras. Do I make her faster and less squishy? I think I've just got to keep going on the, the damage train. Um, right now, she has a lot of AoE, both magic and physical. And... Especially with AoE, every boost matters. It's also really cool that right after you get this character who has a lot of AoE, the random encounters start having more enemies. Um, so right away you get to utilize her, the, the advantages that she gets, which is cool. I guess I hadn't really mentioned the setting because it is ultimately kind of goofy. Like the game as a whole, not the setting. Um, but the fact that this is a like we're literally going through a human ruin. This is a post apocalyptic setting that is I mean, it's it's really neat. Your characters are undead going through the post apocalyptic ruins of a city. Um, like, even if it is goofy, it is neat that they are. It is a neat idea.
And I think it kind of complements it all the more. Uh, the fact that it... The fact that it is being handled so lightly kind of minimizes it, I guess, in a way. But... Let's see. Ignores defense, targets one enemy for very high damage. Um... Yeah, we'll go ignore his defense, just so we've got the option. I don't know. Um, one of the advantages of a good parody is that it can... That it kind of holds up through... I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase this. Even the most serious uh, things are more effective if they include something that makes you laugh. It makes you more attached to the character. It makes it more interesting. Things that are super serious all the time generally aren't as emotionally impactful. Obviously, there's tone elements to this and or to that and stuff, but you're more likely to be in or to engage with. something that is making you laugh and to care if something happens because of or after that um not that i'm saying this is going to be a deeply emotionally impactful thing but i honestly i have a, i have played through part of this one before and i've played its uh spiritual successor, I guess. Uh, which is Cthulhu Saves the World. And I remember Cthulhu Saves the World being a very emotionally resonant thing, even if it is goofy. And I think we're finally to the point where we can just mash through these, which is nice. We only have 11 battles left. Okay, Dem gets another level up. Uh, well, strength Agility, definitely. I'm tempted to go Strength Vitality, but I feel like Agility is good. I like going fast. You know, I didn't take the time to think about it because I was just going fast. Uh... But it may have actually been that the right call to go Vitality there. Um, so that he can do that uh, taunt ability. Heal, targets one. Cure and revive.
why? Oh, okay. Do we want one that revives? Or do we want to just have the cure effect and have it heal for more? Her heals were doing pretty much full already. Um... We do, I mean, the potions we have revive. So I feel like if we need that, we can do that. And let's just have a more powerful heal. More gold. We did find the health ring. Which, if we find a save point, I'm probably gonna switch Sarah over to the health ring. Never mind. We're not gonna get the opportunity. Okay. Rain of Fire, get that started. Um Let's stun out the ghost car for this round. And let's do a sniper shot on the other ghost car. Take out the other side enemies first. And then we'll focus on the boss. Ghost car is immune to stun. Never mind. Sky turns red. We get our rain of fire started. Ghost car is going to attack. Sniper shot. We know how much damage it's going to do because it ignores defense. Hailstorm, and let's go with Sniper Shot on this. Three hits, 96 points. Finish off the other Ghost Car. It rebuilds Fallen Allies. The Junk Monster's Strength and Defense drop. Okay. Interesting. So it loses strength. Every time it has to rebuild its allies. I think this is going to finish it off then. Dem does death blow. And sniper shot finishes it off. Easy peasy. Um, yeah, we're going to go agility. I am error. What a terrifying machine. It's not its fault it was trying to kill us. Robots just do what they've been programmed to do. In fact, I bet that I could fix it up so it's a great help. We just defeated this monster and now you want to bring it back to life? What a foolish idea. Dem says he's scared of the big bad robot. I said nothing of the sort. I just think it's a waste of time. Don't worry, it won't reactivate. I won't reactivate it until I'm sure it won't try and kill us. Will this ever end? This is interesting. Did you figure out how to fix it? No, it's too far gone to repair. However, listen to this. Someone tampered with the robot before it attacked us. Someone set this thing to evil. Why would someone do such a thing? I guess they didn't want it accomplishing its goal. Looking at the original code, the robot's original purpose is to retrieve six magical crystals from a large druid city <laughs> surrounded by mountains and deliver them to certain locations in the desert badlands. Large druid city surrounded by mountains? That must be referring to Langsong. Hey, damn, let's go to Langsong and look for those crystals.
Besides, we owe it to Mr. Robot to fulfill his mission since we destroyed him. I don't think we owe it to any <laughs> anything to anyone who was trying to kill us. What a great idea. I'll be able to find all sorts of nifty gadgets in a big ruin like that. There's a, caves, or there's a series of caves near Motherbound that lead to the ruins, so Motherbound should be our next destination. Okay. There's a chain of mountains in the way, so we'll need to pass through the water cave to get there. Okay. So, we just got a lot of stuff all at once there. Um, so first thing, we've just got told what the actual quest for this is going to be, I believe. We have to recover six crystals and then take them to the Badlands. We got told that to get there, we need to go through a cave from Motherbound. And to get to Motherbound, we need to go through the water cave. So it just laid out a course of like five different steps that we're eventually going to be able to take. We also have the other cave to go back to where those ogres were kicking our butts earlier. There's a lot going on, uh, and I like the fact that it spells it out so well for you. You can really see the shape of the game. You can kind of make decisions based on that. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap here. I hope you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.